For this week, we have some changes coming. A couple cold fronts on the way. Rain chances almost every single day this week, with the exception maybe of Thursday, it looks like. And then next weekend is looking dry, but kind of chilly. So not this balmy spring like kind of feel that we've had this weekend. Current temperatures in the 70s. We hit our highs today, lower 80s, 81 at the airport at Kenner. And our winds have been pretty breezy from the southeast, bringing in that more balmy, humid kind of spring like feel. Here's all the active weather as anticipated anticipated today. Not only yesterday did we have those tornadic storms off in parts of the Midwest, including that uh, unfortunate situation in Iowa with a tornadic storm there, but also we have tornado watch boxes in parts of northern Arkansas, and that is where there's an enhanced risk of severe weather through tonight. But watch what happens as we move into the daytime on Monday. Tomorrow, the severe risk will be there out to the north and northeast of us, but now we are not included under even the marginal risk of severe storms. We really weren't expecting a lot of severe storms on Monday, but just kind of interesting to see the Storm Prediction Center agreeing that the severe risk is probably going to stay well north of us, although we do have a chance for showers and a couple storms tomorrow. Probably non severe though, as you saw. Tonight, we'll be dropping through the 70s, getting into 60s for lows, maybe a little patchy fog possible early tomorrow morning and then highs tomorrow once again near about 82 and then it turns cooler. Our chance of rain will be about 40% tomorrow. It turns cooler Wednesday as that front will have passed through, but we still have a chance as the front lingers near our coast and then into Wednesday too for rain. So we will have showers and maybe a couple storms around. Thursday looks drier, probably not much of a rain chance then and then another front on Friday moves in to make it cooler and dry for next weekend. Interesting to see this, our flooding rain outlook. We normally show this in the summertime or sometimes late spring around May when we get these systems with a lot of rain. We haven't seen this in quite a while. In fact, we've had not that much rain this year, only about half of the average. When you look at the 30 year average for how much rain we've had at this point in March, notice that on Tuesday we will have just a low end risk for a little bit of flooding rain, not expecting a huge washout, but we might get up to maybe two or three inches of rain by Wednesday of this week before we dry out on Thursday. Let me show you with our planner here. This is tonight and into tomorrow. Tonight we'll keep our rain chance near about 20%, but tomorrow morning a model showing a few showers early in the day, but watch what happens through the day. Just a couple of sp spotty or scattered showers and thunderstorms. So we'll keep the rain chance around maybe 40% and then tomorrow night a few more showers. Now Tuesday, look what happens. Here's the front. It's passed through, so we're waking up to 50s, staying in the 60s on Tuesday, but the front is just kind of hovering here, bouncing back up in uh, north as a warm front for a little bit and then farther south as we move into Wednesday. And notice some of the rain might pass to the north of us on Tuesday. So Tuesday, decent chance for rain, but I lowered it to about 50% because it looks like some of that may stay just north. Wednesday, pretty decent chance, maybe early in the day, particularly to see some of this rain start to spread in, and we may have a chance for a little bit of flooding rain on Wednesday too. Now again, we're just talking about two, three or so inches of rain through the whole week, so this will not be a massive rain event, but we will get a good bit, I think, by Wednesday. Thursday, we warm up and dry out. There's your rain chance on Friday as we cool down and dry out in time for next weekend.